strategy. Let's start with uh, well, let's start with this year. Uh, I would assume a lot of expectations uh, with the way the season ended last year. Definitely. Not the way you wanted it to go. Definitely uh, not. Coming off that stretch down, down the end, what are some things you're looking for to start the year? Last year we had issues of coming out kind of slow and sluggish. So this year we put emphasis on coming out, getting immediately, getting fired on all cylinders, uh, everybody going 100 miles an hour, knowing their assignments, uh, everybody giving all that they got. I think we have a lot of speed. Some uh, benefits that we'll have this year is definitely going to be our speed, definitely going to be uh, our ability to take the top off of defenses early in the game. What did last year do for you coming in uh, first year in the program? What, what did that do for you as far as the team? Uh, it just uh, made me diverse, being able to come in and just adjust to a new group of guys coming from UAB in 2014. Uh, I just look at it as a business opportunity to show that I'm versatile and able to adjust in any situation. What excites you about the schedule? Of course, Mississippi State opened up. Uh, I'm excited to play everybody in the Sun Belt, but of course, uh, playing those SEC guys, uh, bigger competition, better competition, faster. Uh, I, I'm, I'm ready for it. I'm licking my chops. Like this. Let me take one with the phone. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, you can turn it up. Yes, sir. Flashing lights. Thank you. Okay, Gerald, with a, uh, with a quarterback competition, just how much more kind of pressure does that put on you, being a leader and, you know, if it's undecided uh, who it's going to be, you're a good target no matter what. Just how are you dealing with that? Uh, whoever we decide to go with, I'm just, I'm going to accept it and I'm going to just I show them the ropes, help get them comfortable fast. Uh, coming out of Mississippi State, it's going to be a big game, so I just want to get them as comfortable as possible, as early as possible as I can. How big of a game could Mississippi State be? You know, you, you schedule these games early on, and, and it's a chance to prove what you've done all spring. Right. And just how excited are you guys about that opportunity? Uh, of course we're excited to open up Mississippi State, but we don't want to look at any team greater than any other team. Uh, but we're, gonna, we're definitely going to come out firing all cylinders as fast as possible. Coach has said multiple times, if you, just, if you guys just do the little things better, you'll easily get back in the bowl. There was close games last year. Just kind of what does he mean by, by the little things? What were some of the problems last year? Uh, attention to detail, just knowing your assignments in any situation, um, preparing for the game the proper way, and being, being ready when the time comes. What would you say is, is some of your strengths right now as a team? Some of our strengths as a team is uh, – our camaraderie we've had throughout the offseason. Uh, another strength is our speed. We have a lot of speed guys coming back and some new guys coming in that will bring us a lot more speed. So this year we're definitely going to be some speed demons. You were picked as the best tight end in the league. Just what does that mean to you? Does it mean anything to you? Does it put pressure on you? Just how does it feel heading into that? It feels good uh, to be acknowledged by the conference as the best at the position, but at the same time, I'm not so focused on personal accolades. Uh, we're focused on the season, trying to get back into a bowl and win the Sun Belt. And you guys go to, oh, I'm from a TV station in Lafayette, by yeah. the way, but you guys come to the Cajuns week three, get things open real quick. Just, you know, they had an off year last year. Mm -hmm. Got a lot to prove for both teams. Just what do you guys think 
heading into to that first Sun Belt game? Oh, um, we're going to be coming off an SEC game, a uh, tough game at that. But coming to Lafayette, uh, we're going to give you a run for your money. We're coming to take it. And with um, you guys on the defense, you know, it, you've returned more defensive players. Mm -hmm. How is the defense looking from your standpoint going up against them in the spring and stuff like that? They look good to me. Uh, we had a new D.C. come in, Coach Walmack. Uh, he's a great guy, great personality, great mentality. And he's brought the mentality from defense to offense as well with Coach Vincent. Uh, just be nasty on both sides of the ball. What's the overall goal this season? Our overall goal is to win a Sun Belt and get back in the bowl. All right, yeah. said. Thank you. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of people really undervalue your tight end and offense. What do you yes, think sir. you've managed that someone would, would underestimate? Uh, my versatility, being able to get in line and spread out in the slot or out wide. Uh, being able to take the top off of defense, uh, if not every drive. Uh, I just want to go out and give my best effort every drive we come out and play. So do, you, uh, do you like blocking more or do you like receiving more? Uh, of course I like receiving more, but uh, this year I put on 15 more pounds, so I've, I've embraced blocking a lot more and started to enjoy it. It's over, man. Uh, all spring, all summer, I've been – Uh, it's very exciting, man. I'm ready to get going. Uh, the team's ready. Uh, we've been a long off season. Uh, ended the season five and seven last year. Huge disappointment, but this year we're ready to get going. Ready to get back on the pass. How do you envision your role? Uh, my role has expanded over the past year, uh, being added to the Mackey preseason watch list. Uh, the team definitely looks to me for the leadership, bigger than last year, and I've embraced it more. And I can't wait. Coach just said, if I don't get to the ball ten to twelve times a game, he's going to fire himself. <laughs> To know that you're that part of that, that much of an integral part of yes. what that means to you. It means a lot. I love I love the pressure. I love coach wanting to give me the ball. I love being in those tough situations just to prevail. Uh, I trust our offseason training and I trust in myself and my teammates and our confidence is sky high this year. Thank you. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Um, it doesn't really put much pressure on me. It just kind of gives me a sense of credibility when I try to teach guys certain things. Uh, but I love to lead the group, man, um, both tight ends and receivers. I'm glad I'm in this position, and I can't wait to perform with my guys. Uh, the right side of the offensive line is kind of having to be rebuilt with two starters. Leaving. How much of an impact has that had on you with your kind of blocking the um, Just in the offseason, just making sure they know the checks and calls. Uh, in the run game and pass game. So just trying to assist them any way I can. So when it comes game time, there's no questions. Uh, how confident are y'all in being able to finally choose a starter out of the three guys that you have in the quarterback? Because it is, you know, common uh, saying that if you have multiple quarterbacks, you have multiple Say that a question again for me. Uh, how confident are you in the ability for the team to find a definite starter? For I'm very confident with any three of the guys that we have uh, auditioning for the starting job right now. Dallas, Evan, uh, they both stick out to me. Great. Cole, Garvin, transfer from Marshall. Uh, he's a great guy, great athlete. They all can sling it, but I'm, I'm great with any decision we make. Uh, how important is uh, Xavier Betts going to be next year uh, just to keep the team rolling? You said the running backs? Uh, I feel like we have a thunder, lightning, and storm uh, in our three three punch backs. In our backfield, we have speed, finesse, and we have agi agility. I'm sorry. Uh, so I'm very confident in our running game, passing game, and I believe that our O-line will be fine. Thank you. Thank you, man. By the way, you have a shirt. What do you say? Oh, you like it? I like it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How are you doing? Hey, how are you? Gerald, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm with WNSP. Okay. Hey, it's fine. All right. So one of the things that Coach said over there is that if we don't, South Alabama doesn't get the ball in your hands at least 12 times, you know, they're not doing their job. And so, obviously, you're a big weapon on offense. Can you just talk about, you know, how you found your role on that offense? <sighs> Coming in last year as a new guy, trying to find my role, I was just trying to help the team any way possible. But it seemed like it was more through the air than on the ground in the run game. So, I just kind of just developed into more of a pass catching tight end. But this year, I want to develop more into a blocking tight end just to show that I can block too. Is that kind of um, playing into you know, 
possibly you know have looking having looks you know for after college to try to develop that? Uh, not necessarily. I mean, when being recruited for the NFL. I mean, you want to be a complete product, but however, at the same time, I want to be present right now for the season in the ring game with my team, so I'm not really focused on the future right now. Give us a little bit of a look into um, the offense. Um, how has it changed um, since last season? Uh, it's still no huddle, still fast tempo. Um, however, we, we've we added a little stuff here and there, switched up a couple names, but we got some new stuff coming for the guys. Uh, for the team, I feel like some challenges we are facing would be replacing those starters that left or graduated last year. And for myself, just embracing blocking more and being able to be at every down tight end. Mm -hmm. um, offensive line is definitely going to be a little bit different from last year, losing Chris, losing um, Joseph. Um, how, I guess just you know, talk about the O-line and how you think they're going to be in the second season. I think our O line is going to be phenomenal. Uh, we had a coaching staff change with Coach Owens going to the O line, so I feel like he's done a great job uh, this spring and summer with the guys, and I feel like they'll be top notch when it comes time to fall. Do you have a particular quarterback that you're most comfortable with that maybe you want to see come fall? Uh, Dallas has done a great job this spring and summer. Uh, he can definitely sling it. However, I feel like all three of them can get the job done, so I'm interested to see who we end up going with. Mississippi State. Mississippi State. Yeah, I can't wait. Why's that? Uh, just because we uh, played them at UAB, and we had them, but we lost by five points. So I feel like this is kind of a redemption game. So I can't wait to face them, and I know my UAB teammates can't either. Okay. I think, um, Thank you. Thank you so much. See you this time. Okay.